Search and rescue efforts in Uman, Ukraine are still underway after a Russian missile slammed into a residential apartment building. You can see uh, some of the aftermath, all of the destroyed cars. You can see the building behind it still smoking. This attack happened at about 4.30 local time when many people were sleeping in this building. The death toll has climbed all morning, starting at 10, then by afternoon getting to 20. Rescue efforts still underway. People we have spoken to on the scene say they are still hopeful that possibly they'll find some survivors. For now, they're focusing their work on digging through apartments in the basement level before they make their way up to some of the apartments on the higher floor. You can see where those floors just collapsed on top of each other. This uh, missile strike that was launched overnight, it wasn't just this city that was targeted. It, targeted. it was a number of cities across Ukraine from the capital city to Dnipro. This was the largest missile attack Russian forces have launched in about two months. Russia's Ministry of Defense, they claim that the overnight missile strikes, they were high precision strikes that were targeting deployments areas where Ukrainian forces uh, have reserve troops, reserve uh, supplies. But this area, from everything we have seen, this is a residential area. We have spoken to a number of people and seen everyone who lived in this building. They were people sleeping in the middle of the night, waking up to the sound of air raid sirens and then explosions. Work here will continue likely throughout the rest of the day and possibly through the night. Reporting in Uman, Ukraine, I'm Ellison Barber, NBC News.